Hello, 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 and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I want to start off by apologizing. No upload yesterday. We did have a Fire Red stream VOD, but we had no Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, life is getting busy. We have, uh, I'm getting ready to go back to school to finish up an internship. And uh, as a result of that, I have to start studying again. I have to start refreshing on material and, uh, you know, trying to figure out, you know, when I'm leaving and how to get there and all that stuff. But I know that I have one of the best little communities around there. So you guys are nothing but supportive, but I appreciate your patience. But with that, we are going to get into this episode today. Last episode, we did beat this dude right here and uh, we have an option. We can go to the right and there's a staircase that goes down or we can fight this dude over. Uh, I believe I don't think we fought this dude or go down this staircase. So uh, before we do that, though, what I did between uh, episodes, you're obviously not going to see a difference any levels. I uh, was actually training Trap Pinch just a little bit. Let's get Shellgun back out here, though. Shellgun's heart is completely open now. We were using uh, her in battles as well as uh, Breloom pretty much to grind up some money so that we could get some Pokeballs and so we could get some beautiful super potions. We had, like, no super potions. So I'm glad that we finally have some healing items, at least. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. And even with the super potions, even with 10 super potions, things can still get dicey. Uh, but we also use that money to go ahead and buy some Pokeballs and some Great Balls. So that way, if we do run into an encounter that we really want, really need, we'll have a chance at catching it. Because really, at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. We want those encounters. We want to catch them. You know, I think I'm going to go let's, go, let's go this way first today. Let us see what this dude has in store for us. So what I think the plan is, is I'm not sure if we're going to get to Mirror B today. I really hope that we do. If we don't, if we don't, I think maybe tomorrow, because tomorrow will be what? Tomorrow will be Saturday. So we might be able to do a, uh, a double upload that I mentioned the other day. I just really want to get through this cave. I want to get to the point where we can nickname Mons, and I'm okay pushing it a little bit, you know? I'm okay pushing the boundaries a little bit, and, uh, you know, have them do some more editing, have them do some more recording, and uh, get, maybe get a second episode out, and maybe just uh, kind of expedite things just a little bit, just to get out of this little chamber here. All right, so the Natu is our Shadow Mon, and uh, not terrible, not great. We already have a really powerful Psychic type with Ralts that could eventually be a Garbodor, and look, the Natu is also another... I'm, I'm convinced it's a thing now. Is most definitely a thing. Uh, Shadow Mons are always female, confirmed. All right, so here's my idea. Let's get rid of this Tangela first. As much as I love Tangela, we need to get rid of the Tangela. This Natu can go for Future Sight. That's fine. Uh, I think what I might do, just because I might get just a, uh, just a wee bit scared, I might put Cradily out here just to take that, just in case. I'm assuming it's going into the Breloom, but of course, sometimes this game's AI even outsmarts itself and doesn't go for the right Mon, but... It looks like Shellgun can actually take care of this Tangela on its own. Uh, the Sandstorm is unfortunate. I'm not sure. I believe the Sandstorm, the Sandstorm should subside if we get rid of Tangela in a few turns passes. And we'll get rid of Tangela next turn. Uh, so what I think I kind of want to do is maybe we'll just go for a little Ember into the Natu and then take out the Tangela. Because uh, with then, even with the damage it will take from the Future Sight, we, uh, we should be fine, I would think. Or maybe we just switch Breloom into Cradily just to be safe. I think let's just go for the Ember into the Tangela and then we will go for... Uh, actually, no, let's do this. Let's just go for the... Let's go for the Ember into the Natu, like I said, and go for the Mach Punch into the Tangela. Even though it's kind of uh, kind of unnecessary. We're already faster than it. It's all right. I am not mad about it. The little Vine Boy goes down and what comes out next is a Steelix. My goodness. Now I'm kind of wishing I would have doubled into that slot. My word, that's a scary mod. But we do have Mach Punch and Ember, uh, so we should be able to deal with this thing. I'm kind of hoping for a burn here, but I doubt I'm going to get one. And let's see, we should be taking the Future Sight attack here in a moment. I believe it's this turn. Libra's jumping off the bed and crawling under the desk because heaven forbid she sits still for more than 10 minutes. All right, the Future Sight attack, I think, should be coming this turn, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, no, it's not. All right, so let's go for the Ember into the Steelix, and let's go for the Mach Punch into the Steelix as well. I don't think it's going to be enough to take this thing out. Yeah, look, this thing is a bulky, bro. This thing is a bulky boy. Uh, Natsu's going to go for Teleport once again. We're going to slap this thing with an Ember. And let's see if this does a little bit more damage. It actually does do a little bit more than Mach Punch, it seems. Not too much, but just enough. Here comes a Rock Throw. Dude, I didn't even realize that Steelix has those pearly blues. Steelix got some beautiful blue eyes. My goodness. Steelix is just a pretty mon all around. Got them chompers. 
Got the beautiful steel body. Got those beautiful blue eyes, man. This guy knows what it's about. All right, so what I kind of want to see is if maybe we can try to throw a Pokeball here and catch this Natu. I feel like we should be able to. It's not a super, oh, it actually goes into Shellgon and does a decent amount of damage. Uh, so enough for me to actually want to heal up. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for, what do I wanna do here? I feel like Ember into the Steelix and then with Breloom's turn, we'll go ahead and use one of the Sewer Potions we grinded so long for uh, already in the first battle to heal the Shellgon up, but we know how these battles go. They take a while. This Natu's just been going for teleport, so I'm, I'm feeling okay right now. I'm feeling okay focusing these things down. A mock punch, uh, actually, a mock punch might kill this thing next turn. It's gonna go for rage. It still shouldn't do a whole lot of damage. It's our first turn he's using it. The first turn is taking damage since using rage, and we are a okay. And the sandstorm is slowly whittling down everybody. I guess it doesn't go away. I, if it does, I feel like it hangs around for quite some time. The tangle has been gone for a few turns now, and it's still uh, still doing the thing. So I guess it's uh, I guess it's permanent in this generation. That's something I forgot about. All right, so here's the deal. Let's go for, let's go for the Pokeball here. Let's go for the Pokeball uh, into the Natu, and let's go for the Mach Punch into the Steelix. I'm not sure. I feel like the Mach Punch just might take the Steelix out. I just know the defense is super high, even though it is super effective. It might take it uh, decently. All right, Natu, stay in the ball, my dear. Stay in the ball. That's two. That's three, and it breaks out on the last one, just to be a pain. Just to be a painful little pain bird, it doesn't want to stay in. All right, this Steelix does go down, so we only got to take one attack this turn if this Natu chooses to not go for teleport. So I will take that to the bank. Let's see what's coming out next. Oh my goodness, this dude is just throwing power after power out here. My word. All right, and the Salamence presents a, a, an issue. Uh, a dragon type move would hurt, a dragon claw would hurt, a wing attack would hurt. Uh, does Salamence get any of those moves at this level? I couldn't tell you. All I know is that our Shellgon has none of those things, so maybe we'll be okay. But it probably does have Ember. And Ember is an issue. So, let's go for... It would be nice if we would have cut that not to, because then we could just double into the Salamence. But what I actually want to do is go for a Protect on the Shellgon, and then we're going to pull Breloom out, and we're actually going to go into Cradily because we do know that we are nice and bulky. Uh, I think we can even take a Wing Attack. We can at least take it much better than Breloom can. If this thing has Dragon Claw and goes into our Shellgon, uh, then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure something out because we definitely can't stay in. It's got Headbutt and it went into the Shellgon. That's fine. We got really good we got really good physical defense. Uh, even with Salamence, it's probably I would assume decent attack stat depending on its nature. We still should be able to take that regardless. Uh, but I'm gonna if it's gonna keep focusing into the Shellgon, we're gonna have to heal it up. So all right, so the Sandstorm comes around again. And, uh, all right, Shellgon, let's do, let's do this, my friend. Let's go for a headbutt into the Salamence. It's probably faster than us, but we can try to go for the flinch if we do, in fact, outspeed. And then the Natu is just a little bit lower now, so let's try another Pokeball here, see if we can't catch this thing. Again, we have a really good Psychic type already that I'm hoping that we can keep alive and actually get a chance to purify and use. Uh, but just in case things happen, it'd be great to have this Natu on the team for sure. And let's see, does it stain the ball? It does stain the ball on the second time of asking, and that is beautiful. Our first mod that actually beat the PC in quite some time after we got devastated uh, earlier on. All right, so we're going to go for the headbutt here. Uh, it just went for focus energy. Could go for a headbutt, trying to go for that crit headbutt, which uh, is definitely something I can see the CPU trying to do. I'm going to go for protect again into the shell gun just to be safe. And uh, for the crate dilly, I think we will, I guess we'll just probably slap it with an acid. We don't get hurt by the sandstorm, which is great. Or should we just go for the constrict and try to get the damage? Uh, I feel like constrict would probably do more. We could fish for that defense drop, but we never get it. So it kind of seems pointless to me, but we'll try it. Why not? We'll protect our uh, viable asset in Shellgon. Salamence goes for focus energy again, and it fails. So uh, kind of wasted a turn there. We definitely could have got a free headbutt off, but that's okay. And this acid actually does an, an okay amount of damage for what it is, but we don't get any defense drop. Uh, the Salamence and our Shellgon will get hit by the Sandstorm, uh, which is unfortunate. Now, do I think a crit headbutt would kill Shellgon if he, in fact, were to get it? Part of me wants to say no, but part of me also wants to say yes. So let's just, do I want to do that though? I just don't think, I think we should be, we have great, we got great defense. 
Let's go for the headbutt and let's go for the acid. And it goes for the protect. My goodness. So focus energy. It's got focus energy, headbutt, protect. Which makes me think it probably has the same moveset as we do. It probably has Ember as well. Uh, I'm guessing that once we purify our Shellgon, that we are going to get focus energy. And that's going to be awful. <laughs> It's going to be absolute waste of a move slot, but hopefully by then we can grab some more TMs or we can get leveled up enough to where uh, we'll get a decent move. So let's go for the headbutt. Let's go for the acid. Here comes the headbutt from the Salamence. And uh, it goes into our Cradilly. It's a crit, not very effective. Cradilly takes it like a champ. Uh, and it should be going... Uh, oh, I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't flinch is what I wanted to say. There's our headbutt rolling around at the speed of sound, slamming into things. Octillery's, or not Octillery, rest in peace Octillery. Let's go for the Acid, and we just missed taking out this Salamence. We're gonna have to eat another one of its attacks, unless this Sandstorm could actually take this thing out, and it does, so we get out of here without having to get slapped by this giant lizard once more. So, uh, you know, first battle, first battle down, not too bad. We should be getting into, like, the underground here soon, which is a whole, like, another area of the game. It's like another town. Uh, and I believe we have to get down there to... I don't... Maybe we don't have to get... I think we find Mirror B first, and then we go to the underground. So we gotta be getting close here. Mirror B has got to be getting close. So we're gonna go heal up, and then I'll, uh, we'll come back to the staircase and decide if we're gonna go right or left and, uh, see what's next. Okay, we are back. Uh, we are healed up. We are at this staircase. I think since we're right here, we might as well just go down and see what this place has to offer. I know one of these... Actually, I think that's where we need to go. Okay, cool. Uh, that's where we need to go, so we know that for sure, but I do believe... Let's go check out the other staircase, because there could be another chance to get another member to the team. I'm not sure if you defeat me or B here, if all his goons go away, and then you can't get any of them. Uh, because that would be unfortunate. We'd miss out on some Shadowmons. Uh, they may appear later in the game, but I would like to try to get them now if we can. So let's go to the right, uh, and let's see what we have in store. I know there is one platform that has like just a bunch of item crates on it and even so that'd be useful because this game does like to give us hyper potions likes to give us revives that we can sell for money full heals all that stuff is very good for us and all right we got a battle this way and then we also have oh it seems to be i think this is the platform that i'm thinking of all right we got a battle here as well so let's see what this girl has i'm hoping it's something easy if these next couple battles could be something that aren't too uh, strenuous so we don't have to think about too much then we kind of speed up through them and uh get uh get on our way here we have a kabutops and a chinchow and honestly with the with the people we have out i think we should be able to take care of this fairly easily uh could be me jumping the gun but we're going to speed up just a little bit all right, we're gonna go for the headbutt. I'm gonna double into the Kabutops. We're gonna go for Mach Punch headbutt. And see, we're not gonna, it is a two shot kill. It's gonna go for the stand attack. And let's see, obviously with the damage from the headbutt, we should be able to kill this thing next turn as long as we can hit. We did get stand attack, which is unfortunate. It does not do a lot of damage, but if we can hit, we will be A-OK. -okay. Let's go for a headbutt into the Chinchou and a Mach Punch into the Kabutops, which does land, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we have a little trap pinch. We have one of those as well. Here comes the Chinchou with the Confuse Ray. We're back with the Confusion RNG. It is alive and well, but we actually break through this time, which is astounding to me. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. We're going to go for another headbutt. We're going to go for... Actually, I probably am... I, I got a feeling Mach Punch might kill from this range. It's just a little Chinchou, and look at that. It does. It does. I feel like Mach Punch is more powerful in this generation, but maybe it's just because Breloom's a beast. I don't know. I don't know. This might be the fastest battle we've ever had. This might be the fastest battle of the last four episodes. I am very pleased with that. <laughs> I am I am very happy when a battle doesn't take us 10 minutes like it normally does. All right, let's slow back down. All right, this is not a good place for her training whatsoever. And here is the four crate little island that I was looking for. We got a Zinc, uh, which could be actually pretty nice to put on Salamence or something, or even Breloom if we keep it alive. Or Carbos, I'm sorry, that's a speed one. Zinc is special defense, if I'm not uh, mistaken. I've got a Protein. That would be super nice to use on Salamence as well if we can get one and an iron. So uh, lots of good stuff there. Definitely worth the trip to come over here. Worst case, if we didn't want to use them, which I am probably going to use them. But if we didn't want to, we could just sell those for a decent amount of money as well. I think they go for like uh, 9,800 or something like that. So that's pretty, that's pretty darn good. All right, uh, let's see. Let me just make sure that we are okay on health. We are decent on health, so that's good. Let's see. I'm kind of hoping this chick doesn't have much either. Again, trying to get as much money, trying to get as many shadow encounters as we can. We know where Mirror B is. I'm almost, like, I am 99.99% positive. Uh, the other staircase to the left up there is where we need to go if we want to fight Mirror B. And this is, like, another battle that we can handle pretty uh, pretty easily. Uh, did you hear Shellgun's cry when it sped up? That's that's hilarious. All right, let's go for the Ember into the Gloom, 
And then let's go for the headbutt as well. Double down into Mons makes things just a little bit easier. Here comes the Ember. We probably won't take this thing out in one turn. That's okay. Uh, but next turn, we'll be able to take it out. And then Skitty, I'm pretty confident we can probably one-shot that thing with Mach Punch. We get the flinch, which is absolutely awesome. Let's go for the headbutt again into the Gloom. And we actually take that one out. So whatever's going to come into this slot is going to take a little bit of damage. Ooh, we get poisoned. That's not fun. It's a Magby. Look at that. Well, Magby's going to take an Ember. It's going to take it just fine. And uh, we're going to get Charmed. Uh, but we don't get hurt by Charm. That's great, because we have Hyper Cutter. Okay, so let's do this. We have a Magby on the field. Breloom is poisoned. That is unfortunate. You don't you don't love to see that. Shellgon, go into the Magby with a Headbutt. And then Breloom, I think... Ooh, my goodness. Ooh, my goodness. I think we're just going to go for the Antidote here. Uh, I really don't think we should die from anything this Magby does. It goes for the smoke screen, so that's fine by me. You're going to lower accuracy, which is annoying. Uh, but, you know, we'll be able to take this thing out next turn with our Shell God. Our Skitty is going to lower our attack. That's fine. Let's go for the Headbutt back into the Magby. And let's go for the Mock... Actually, let's, yeah, let's go for the Mock Punch into the Skitty. That's fine. Does not one-shot, but will, in fact, two-shot. And here goes for Fire Punch into the Shell God. My heart stopped just for a little bit. I was a little bit afraid that went into the Breloom, but I still think we would have lived. I think we would have been okay. The skin is going to go for Covet. I don't think we have... Oh, no, okay, we're fine there. All right, so let's just go for the Headbutt and then for the Mock Punch, and that'll be all she wrote. So uh, we got we got blessed there. We got two uh, easier battles compared to what we have been facing. So I'll take that. I will take that every day of the week. So I want to go heal up, and I think there's just one person up here and i think that i don't know if there's something to the left there but i think that's it so we'll go heal up and we'll take this person on and uh go fight mirror b okay we are back we are healed up and it looks like i think we just have this one person to go yeah this is the last person we need to fight uh so let's see let's see if she has any uh shadow mons for us to grab and if she does hopefully it's something we can actually catch and not something that's gonna decimate our team and hopefully her team's not something that's gonna decimate our team Sima has a Meryl and a Houndor. Uh, so the Meryl is a female, so there's a good chance that might be the Shadowmon that she has. And it's not a Shadowmon. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go for the Headbutt. Uh, I'm afraid of the Houndour just because of the typing, of course. Gonna go for the Mach Punch, and then we actually one-shot this thing, so I was afraid for nothing. And the Spinarak is going to come out. We're gonna go for a Headbutt. This will probably do over half. Yeah, it almost takes out one hit as well, so that's... Uh, you know, the last three battles here giving us a bit of a break, which is nice. I'll, I will take that. Let's go for another headbutt, and then we'll go for a headbutt. Into, we'll just double into the spinner rack, worst case. We'll get damage on the Meryl either way. So, look at that. Look at that. Now, I got a feeling that Mirror B is not going to be this way. Mirror B should have a Shadowmon for us to catch, and his levels, I think, are about 34. 34 to 36, so he's going to be a bit higher level than we are. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit crazy. It's gonna be a little intense. Uh, but this lady goes down as well. So what we're gonna go do now that we've beat the her is I'm actually gonna take a quick look at our money, and we got three thousand two hundred and four Poke dollars. I'll buy us like not much, but it's something if we wanted to go buy stuff. But I think what we'll do is we'll go heal up. We know where to go now, so we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the little PC that's sitting downstairs. And then we'll come back here and uh, continue on to Mirror B and see what lies in wait. Okay, we are back. We are at the staircase that could uh, either lead us to uh, some great encounters or to uh, or to our doom. I have a feeling it's going to be one or the other. Uh, really hoping that like I'm really just looking for like a mid tier Pokemon. There it is, folks. There it is. There's the iconic theme. If you've never heard this before or you never knew where this was from, here you go. I love this so much. Look at this guy. Look at this goofball, man. This goofball is no slouch either. Okay. So, thinking about this, uh, I guess there's really no point in thinking about this because we're just, we, we have what we have. And that's all we got. Mirby, look at the, look at me, look at him kicking the legs. Look at him go. All right. Yeah, Woot, it's about time, darlings. I was so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Stop the music. Dramatic pose. Look at that dramatic pose. I'm going to throw out his arm there. Oh, you kept me waiting for so long. I decided to work up a little perspiration. But my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was all so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man. And so there is time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play. All right. Let us see what the Afro himself 
Mir B has. All right, he's got a Makuhita and an Ursarang. Oh goodness, we used to have an Ursarang. Look at him, look at him. You know, if Makuhita is in fact our shadow encounter, not terrible. Again, we already have a fighting type, so it's really not the best, but it's not, so that's actually fine. All right, what am I scared of here? Uh, the Ursarang, kind of, uh, but the Makuhita also scares me as well. So I think, I think I'm gonna go for the Makuhita here. So let's go for the headbutt into the Makuhita, and then let's also go, let's just double headbutt into it if we are lucky. There, he goes for the fake out, he gets the flinch. I was hoping that we could get a flinch on the Makuhita, but he was, uh, he was a step ahead of us. He was one step ahead of us. Hopefully this does a decent amount of damage. Makuhita is not known for being bulky whatsoever, so that's perfect. He's a thick boy, but he does not have thick defense. Ursarang goes for the lick. Yeah, I don't remember having decent moves on our Ursarang, so I'm not too worried about it. We do get paralyzed though, which is unfortunate. Can we get the poison point? Yeah, we do. We just trade off statuses there. I'll take it. I will take that. I'm not really too worried about this thing. It can slowly die to poison. I'm gonna go for the headbutt again into the Makuhita and a headbutt again into that Makuhita slot. Whatever comes in is not going to appreciate what happens to it, if we can break through paralysis, that is. So Makuhita is gonna go down and we sends out a Golduck next. So another Mon that we can in fact deal with. It's not a Shadow Mon, which is fine by me. As much as I love Golduck, uh, I don't want a Golduck. And I don't think, I guess a water type would be needed on the team to replace Octillery, our poor departed Octillery. Now, I am kind of afraid of this thing. Uh, I do believe Golduck gets access to like Side Beam, Confusion, I think Aurora Beam by chance, uh, which would hurt Breloom uh, indeed. So part of me kind of wants to go out into Cradily because Cradily is really not going to care whatever this Golduck wants to do. And I feel like that's probably the smartest play. So let's go for the Headbutt into the Golduck again. Let's switch Breloom out. Let's go into the Cradily. Obviously, oh, we have Arena Trap on the Ursaring. That is indeed unfortunate. Okay, so we got to do with what we, we got to make do with what we got. And I really don't want to kill the Ursaring because if he brings out something stronger, we're going to be in trouble. But it really... But then we're gonna get stuck. I guess it kind of comes down to if this gold deck has a really strong move, we're gonna be in big doo-doo trouble and we're gonna have to slowly whittle this thing down. So I'll tell you what, let's go for the headbutt. Double headbutts, there's the confusion. Now let's see if it goes into the Breloom. It does in fact go into the Breloom and it does hit pretty hard. Okay, uh, but I don't think it's nothing. We, we have enough super potions. I think we can deal with it. It looks like this gold deck might take another three headbutts. Three swipes into the... It's a critical hit. Stop, stop, is this stopping? Is that it? That was only two hits. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit crit twice. I thought it was like, if it hit crit once, it was gonna keep going. That was scary. Okay, this Ursaring almost just uh, made me pay. That was, that was terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. Okay, that was a close call. <laughs> Let's go for the headbutt into the gold duck. Let's get this thing out of here. Um, and let's just go for the Hyper Potion into the Breloom, get him all fully healed. And then this Gold Deck will go bye-bye. Another Confusion is going to come out, this time into the Shellgon. So we are, we should be okay for this turn, unless this Earthswing magically knows Explosion for whatever reason. All right, Gold Duck is gone. Now let's just not throw something incredible out so we can deal with it and uh, get out of this battle without having Heart Palpitations. A Celio. A Celio hits the field, and it's not a Shadow Mon. That's interesting. He didn't have a single Shadow Pokemon. That's very odd to me. Okay, uh, Celio. We know the Celio. We remember we got killed by a Sfeel in our. Uh, was it? Was it? Uh, I think it was our. Was it X or Platinum? I think it was Platinum. Or no, it was. Well, I think it was X. All right. So, ooh, Ice actually uh, is not fun for us in the slightest. Do you have Ice Ball? Do you have Ice Beam? These are questions I would like to know the answer to. Let's protect with Shellgon. And let's go for... Let's go for the Mock Punch into... I think I'm gonna get rid of the Ursaring if we can. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't have anything wild. Here goes a Mock Punch, we break through and we take out the Ursaring. So now we just gotta worry about the Celio, uh, which I'm totally fine with. And he has another Mon, and of course, it's an Ice type. Of course, it's an Ice type, and it's a Shadow. I thought that was it. Okay, uh, this is terrifying. Here comes Aurora Beam. 
And it goes into our shell gun. Wow, this is bad. Uh, I think I might have to pass up on this Glalie. Huh. Sh hmm. Uh. Shoot. Uh, this is really bad for us, actually. This is probably the worst combination we could have had. Let's take out Shellgon. It sucks if Shellgon would do a decent amount of work. Let's go into Cradilly. And... We don't have a choice. Breloom, let's go for the Mock Punch into the... Huh. What am I more scared of? I'm scared of both these mods, but the Glalie's much higher level. Uh, I'm okay if we don't get this Glalie, just because it can really do some work against our team. It could really do some damage, and I'm really not trying to deal with that. We break through process again. We hit this thing, and it does a lot of damage to this thing. Glalie's just a freaking beast. Goes for the headbutt into the Cradily. Now, what's this? Uh, I kind of want to go into the Cradily. Go into the Cradily. Here comes the Ice Ball, which I'm terrified of, into the Breloom, and that's going to do more and more damage as we go. We get the Poison. Uh, but it's not going to matter if we lose Breloom. Uh, Cradily. We're going to have to... Oh, shoot, bro. This is bad. I think we're losing. I think we're losing somebody. I think we're losing Breloom. Or we sack off. I don't know what to do. Let's heal up Breloom. And then... I just don't think we can kill the Celio in time uh, until it kills Breloom. So let's go for the Nair Mach Punch into the Glalie here. And we might be able to actually catch this thing. Goes for another Headbutt into, oh my gosh. Bro, it's a crit. It's another crit. That's a dead Breloom right there, friends. Nothing we can do about that. A crit Headbutt with an Ice Ball is a dead Breloom. And she was doing, she had so much XP that I put into her. And now what do we do? Now what do we do? I think we lose. I think we just lose. Of course he has two ice types. We go into Shell Gun, we protect. That's what we do. We go into sh Shell Gun dies. Shell Gun dies from Ice Ball at this level. We either, all right, long run. Thinking long term of the team here. Torchic is great. Trap Pinch, Flygon is a great Mon. It adds another Ice Weakness to our team. We already have Shellgon. Routes is also a very good member to have on the team. Do we go into Shellgon? Protect, throw a ball. Then switch out into Trap Pinch, sack off Trap Pinch, get Ice Ball done, hopefully catch the Glalie, and then kill the Celio. That could work. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm upset that Breloom died because really that we that, that, that thing was gonna be at level 45 once we purified it. We just need to break this Ice Ball, and I think. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Cradley's turn. We're gonna go for the Great Ball. Into the Glalie. Shellgon's gonna protect. Alright, Glalie. Stay in the ball, my friend. Stay in the ball, my friend. Be a great addition to the team if we could catch you. Doesn't even it doesn't even shake once. Doesn't even shake once. Shellgon's for protect. And I wonder, is this like rollout where this stops Ice Ball? I feel like it might be. Alright. Now we are back in a uh, predicament. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, Shellgon can't stay in here, obviously. I'm going to go for another Great Ball into the Glalie. And we sack somebody off. We have to sack somebody off here, I think. Shellgon comes back. I think Trap Pinch has to go. I think Trap Pinch has to go. Sorry, Trap Pinch. I'm so sorry. Uh, if Ice Ball stops, this could be a bad, then this is kind of a misplay, and this is kind of a waste of a Mon, but a level 35 Glalie would be a great addition to the team if we can catch it. If this thing can stay in the ball, that'd be fantastic. 
be great. Come on, stop doing this to me. Just stay in the Pokeball. Is this too much to ask? You've already killed one of my mons. All right, let's see if this Ice Ball reset. Well, obviously, this thing's probably gonna double into this Trap Pinch slot. It goes into the Cray Dilly, actually, uh, which is interesting. Okay, it does stop the Ice Ball, but it goes for the Aurora Beam into the Trap Pinch, and oh, uh, just miss, just barely misses taking this thing out. The Celo is getting hurt, and we are right back where we started. All right, let's try this again. Great Ball into the Glalie, please. And Trap Pinch? I mean, the longer we can stall things, the better. Honestly, the longer we can we can stall things, let's go ahead and use a Hyper Potion. Let's get Trap Pinch all the way up. If we don't have to lose Trap Pinch, I'm here for it. Uh, I just don't think it's going to happen. If we can catch if we can catch this clearly this turn, and then live whatever this Celio does, it's still going to be tough. But we might be able to get out of this without losing anyone else. Come on, Glalie. Come on, Glalie. Come on. Why? Stay in the ball. You're not a legendary. Stay in the ball. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? That's a dead trap pitch. That's an Aurora Beam into that uh, into that slot. But uh, we tried. Here's a body slam into the Cradilly. Into the Cradilly. Uh, we need to shift the plans here. The Celio needs to go down. We do need to kill the Celio. So let's go for let's go for the Acid. And then we'll heal up this trap inch. That thing needs to die. Uh, if we can get what we can get this, we can get this Glalie a little bit lower. It goes into the Cradily, which is fine. <sighs> Just why this is so frustrating sometimes. Come on now. Obviously, it's not going to kill the Celio. We just need to speed up this process of it dying to poison uh, that our Breloom gifted us as this departing, departing present. Glalie gets a little bit closer to death. Here comes another body slam uh, into the Cray Dilly. Okay. And all right. So what do we want to do here? Let's go for, let's. Hmm. Let's go for a. Let's go for another great ball. Let's go for the great ball into the Glalie. And then let's go for a Fantac into the Celio. Come on, Glalie. This is the one. This is the one. I'm feeling it. This is the one. This is the one. This is the ball you stay in. And you join our team. This is the one right here. This is it. Or you're just going to shake once. <sighs> Why? Is this such a difficult process to catch these mons? All right, Celio. What are you going to do? Gonna go for the body slam once again into the Cradily. So we're gonna have to heal Cradily up just to be safe. I'm not sure what an Aurora Beam or an Ice Ball would be looking like damage wise. Unless we can take this thing out here in this turn, which we should be able to, and the trap pitch comes through. Uh a little dis not disappointed. I would have I wish the Celia would have gone for this kind of stuff when we had our Breloom out here. But I'm fine with keeping the trap pinch. I'm fine with keeping as like I said, I don't I didn't want to sack off trap pinch. It was more of a necessity thing. Uh, but since we lost this Breloom, I really want to add this Glalie. A level 35 Mon would be huge right now. Uh, so it's just, I do know that we will be facing a level 38 Mon here shortly. And it's going to be Shadow, and we have no way of leveling up before then. So a Glalie would be great. A Glalie would be absolutely incredible, Glalie. You would be great. Come to the team. I want to throw this controller through the wall. This is so frustrating, the fact that these Pokemon do not stay in the ball. We got, we, get, we we are fine here. We can live right here. We can live here for a little bit if we need to. We could actually probably go for another acid. We could do that. Or we go for an ingrain. And uh, screw it. Let's try a Pokeball. <laughs> Great balls aren't working. Let's try a Pokeball. Come on now, Glalie. You really, I just, I know Glalie is not a mon you find often in the wild. I know its catch rate isn't like incredible. But I can't believe that it's this difficult to catch. Yo, what is with getting to three? Just stay in the ball. Just stay in. Come on. If you're going to keep headbutting, it's fine. Keep headbutting the cradle. That's fine, but stay in the Pokeball. We flinch, which is, is what it is. Oh, this is frustrating, my friends. This is very frustrating. Cradily, go for the ingrain. Try again. Let's go for another Pokeball. It seemed to work better than the Great Ball did. Come on now. Come on now. We spent the last five minutes or more trying to catch you. Come on, Glalie. 
Come on, Glalie. Let's stay in the ball here. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Or shake once. Or only shake once. That's fine, too. We're going to speed up here. Uh, I did not realize the time that we were at, and this thing is just being obnoxious beyond any sort of reason. Uh, let's go for the acid. That should bring it down to, like... Should we bring it just to, like, one HP? And then we'll go for a Pokeball again. I love the music in the background. It sounds like Alvin the Chipmunks. Come on, Glalie. Come on, Glalie. Come on, Glalie. Let's go. Once I hit the speed up, once I hit the space bar, things change. All right. Well, we sadly lost Breloom, which I was really looking forward to seeing how many levels we were getting that thing. It was such a great physical attacker. But we did add a Glalie to the team. Level 35 Glalie is nothing to laugh at. Uh, now we just got to really hope and pray. Uh, fire types still just run rampant against our team. But we rescued this little Mon. This little plusle behind the door here. And uh, that was that was quite the, uh, quite the frustrating uh, battle there. But uh, one loss today. I will take it. We made it through Mirror B. We finally got there. And we're going to end things off here today. If you enjoyed me a whole lot. If you can hit that like button. Leave a comment. And consider subscribing to the channel. And with that, my computer is yelling at me. Have the best morning, afternoon, night. Whatever it is for you to watch this video. Just make it the best it can possibly be. And I will see you next time.